WMSC's Local Live is supported by Club Garibaldi. Located at 2501 South Superior Street in Bayview. Open seven days a week, Club Garibaldi serves burgers, hot wings, and more. And features live music weekly. For more information and Club Garibaldi's live music events, visit clubgaribaldi.com. And now live from the Bob and Jeannie Friedman Performance Studio here at WMSE, here are the Sundial Mottos.
And that is music from Sundial Mottos, and they will be in the studio to talk to us. We'll talk to Graham, Melissa, Brady, and Charles in just a minute, and we'll be right back after this. Welcome to another edition of Local Live in the studio. With me tonight are Sundial Mottos. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. You are? Pretty good, yeah. Oh, it's good. I'm feeling good. You're feeling good? Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's really good. Well, uh, Graham? That's me. Uh, play a wonderful guitar. Thank you. Yeah, and... Uh, Alisa. Alisa, you do too. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Brady, drummer, Charles, bassist. That's me. He <laughs> nodded. He <laughs> nodded. That was great. <laughs> a nod in radio. Just He's nodding. <laughs> I love how that works. Uh, Graham, I got to ask you the question. Do you remember what it was about uh, Elisa's music that uh, determined you to start this band with her? Uh, it wasn't really her music, even though I think her music is cool. Uh, what was the motivation? Well, we we met at uh, at a teenage fan club show in Madison, and uh, mm-hmm. I went with a, a mutual friend of ours, and he introduced us, and uh, we both found out that we uh, loved Oasis, and mm-hmm. I feel like. Most people like that are really into music hate that band. What period Oasis? Like the full catalog? Um, I, I, I'm not really into the full catalog. The earlier material. The, the first a couple records, for sure. Sure. The rest of them have like one or two songs that I really like. But yeah, when the brothers were playing together in the early days, they were pretty. Unstop- yeah, they were unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, and like I love that stuff. And it's not very often that you meet someone that's also like really into it. <laughs> I feel like. Uh, sure. Most people kind of just think about Wonderwall and their totally bro band, which they kind of are. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, we were like, well, we have to start a band now. <laughs> How did you feel about that, Elisa? I was, I was pretty pumped to find, like, another Oasis fan. Because it's funny because, like, I remember sitting down with him and he had, like, a Midwives patch on. And I was like, oh, I really like that band. And he's like, yeah, I play in that band. And I was like, oh, okay. So that's you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So how long was it? How long would this kind of go on? But you two talk together and decide, like, okay, we're starting a band. What's the, what's the time frame like? Uh, it was like maybe a a couple months where I was like, we'd see each other out, and then I think I hit her up on Facebook and was like, hey, let's jam sometime. Mm-hmm. So we had uh, for the first time we jammed. Our, our friend Sahan was was a drummer, who was also oh, Sahan, yes. you know Sahan, yeah, right on, yeah. yeah. So you were just doing it as a three piece, or yeah, or were you- we were just kind of jamming, really. Like um, the second song we just played, or the second song we played today, uh, was like a song that he already wrote, Graham already wrote. The second song we played today, Serious Industry. Oh yeah, yeah no, that's it a wasn't. Great song. It wasn't done. It was, yeah, like, it was like we kind of. I had it like a basic idea, and then like we kind of finished it up together. But that the last the song we just finished with was like the first time we ever jammed together. Mm-hmm. Elisa was just like playing that riff. And I was like, that sounds cool. And then we just like made that a song and it's two chords for like six minutes. <laughs> which I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of like, that's the first rehearsal then kind of. Yeah, that uh, last one. Encapsulated. Yeah, the, for sure. Yeah. And uh, Charles and Brady, what are you guys have been part of this from the initial, from the initial onset? Uh, I think I was hanging around the practice space the first couple times they got together um but then uh i don't know with uh sahan moving uh graham just asked if i wanted to try playing some drums which had you know i'd been playing bass with graham in midnight reruns for a while so it was kind of like going back to drums for me which was difficult but a lot of fun did you start off as a drummer yeah, it was like the first instrument that I knew I wanted to play after like, you know, having a little piano. Um, but yeah, like definitely sixth grade knew I wanted to play drums. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Knew you wanted to play drums? Led Zeppelin is okay. really... Yeah. There, there you have it. Okay, the, the rest is history. Yeah. Um, um, it... it some of the song ideas uh, that you guys have brewing, um, and given uh, all your backgrounds, is this collectively kind of a new approach for for each one of for everybody? Uh, definitely for me. I I never really uh, 
wrote songs with someone else before. I mean, with with Midnight Reruns, I'd I'd have it like, you know, pretty much done, like lyrics and chord changes and and how it would like arrangement and how it would go, and then I'd bring it to the band, and everyone would kind of like add their own parts to it to make it what it was. But for for this band, like most of the songs, like me and Lisa are kind of like building from the ground up together, which is something I've never done before. So it's kind of... Uh, so that was a new process for you. Yeah, it's kind of fun and refreshing. It takes a lot of the pressure off for sure. And it's like, uh, I don't know, like some of these songs I feel like we wrote in in like 30 minutes, whereas, you know, I'd take like two months just like sweating over a Midnight Rerun song. <laughs> it's like huh? half the time would like end up being like not even that great, so... Uh, it, uh, uh, Ken Sabar was on the show a couple of weeks ago. I'm wondering how you decided to uh, have him produce your EP. What was the thought there? Um, I really like the production he did for um, his old band, uh, Heat Death, a lot. And I know he recorded that like on his own, like in like a cabin somewhere with like his bandmates and Man he, of the Woods. Man of, yeah, <laughs> man of basically. The woods. <laughs> I don't know. He's just awesome. a all around really great guy, and you know he knows his stuff. For sure, like with like equipment and all that, so we figured he'd be the best person to he, record us. <laughs> he was a mutual friend. Yeah, of but he ours. had never heard you play live before. When I think he had, he, he had. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. These are my notes. I'm still okay. Okay. Out <laughs> so he never heard you play live. How, you know, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, I don't know. <laughs> but as far as the recording process goes, you know, and other bands that you've all been in, how was this one? How did this feel for everybody? It was like. Just an easy, easy going. It's pretty easy. Good creative session. Yeah, it was. It was mostly live. Yeah, uh, you know, I did some guitar overdubs, and we did vocal, all the vocals overdubbed. But uh, I'm lucky enough to have like a studio space with I. I run with two other guys, and uh, so then we we didn't really have to like book time. It was just like let's just go to the studio and just bash it out. So the EP is it out? Yeah, well, we don't have like physical copies, but it's on Bandcamp. It's on Bandcamp. Yeah. And is there an official release? Uh, w- that kind of happened already. Kind of happened already. Yeah. So it's it's out. Yeah. I I don't know why I was bouncing around with that. It's out definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. And the name some dial motto. You know, just curious. Where, where, how did you? That, that's all grand. Uh, well, I was listening to this podcast called S Town, and uh, uh, they're they're talking about sundial mottos in it, which are like uh, like little phrases that are engraved on a sundial. Like when people would build sundials, they, they would kind of like like cap it off with their their own little uh, signature, which is like a little phrase, and it's usually something really depressing involving time, like tedious and brief, or something like that. And uh, I just thought that's like that's kind of cool, Sundial Mottos. And then I looked it up, and it wasn't a band, which is like, you know, when you're looking at band names, everything's, like, everything's been, taken. been taken. Yeah, it's I was like, like, all right, well, that's like, or you know, dot com, something in front of dot com's all been taken. Yeah, They're equal that to bands. Yeah. So, so I thought that was, I was like, that's pretty cool. Like I like I like the sentiment, be- like what it is is cool, and uh, like it's kind of catchy name. And I was like, well, we have to jump on it if no one has yet. Like, somebody's going to after this podcast, you know, yeah. since this podcast is super popular. It, just listening to you both tonight uh, play, the guitar sound is really fluid and works really well. Uh, it's really great. Um, Thank you. And, and works really well together. And you especially, uh, the sound you get from that Telecaster is is uh, is pretty incredible. Thanks. Uh, um, playing a Telecaster... Uh, just for those sometimes the gear the gear oriented people sure yeah you know musicians listen so yeah. they're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go there and ask you that question how did you uh, settle on the the Telecaster um well that that one kind of fell into my lap uh so Sam who's uh the drummer for Midnight Reruns um we used to always practice at his dad's house and his dad works at Casio and so he would like always get in like you know if he if he got something in on a trade that he thought was really cool he'd like like hide it in the back you know so nobody else bought so he could like buy it for himself and uh i think he got that was some cool thing he got in on a trade that was like he got for like a really good deal and so he's like hey i've got this killer telly <laughs> nice. and and I, I was probably like 18 at the time 
and I tried it out and loved it and he like sold it to me for like what he paid for it which is like a really good deal and uh so yeah I've just had it for like what how old am I uh <laughs> eight, eight years now I've had it for, that's the longest I've owned a guitar is that are you kind of a are you monophonic when it comes to guitar just like one one guitar playing it at a constant using more the guitar and pedals and tones same with you uh Lisa same thing or do you are you someone with an arsenal that has a number of oh guitars? I see what you're saying yeah uh no I don't I only have two electric guitars I mean I'd love to have an arsenal yeah. Uh, that one day, but, maybe. you know, sometimes <laughs> it's more than you know. It's more than one, and, and yeah. sometimes it's just one. Sure. Yeah. yeah I prefer that that telly for this band. I got that flying V in there just in case I break a string, though. That's my other one. My only other one. Yeah, and Elisa, you got. I didn't I, notice a number of yeah, pedals. Yeah, I'm all about pedals more so than like having. I wish I had, I wish I could afford like more guitars, but you know, I've played that telly before, and it's it's incredible. <laughs> so. So j- jamming the pedals is that you know is that something that you always work on for your tone and texture? Yeah, I mean, even with my other project, um, it's always been like a big thing for me to try to get like a really cool you know guitar tone. So I've always been all about like delay pedals and just like manipulating. Like I like the idea of like guitars that don't really sound like guitars, you know, like with pedals, you know, per se. Yeah, I was gonna say that like I I remember like when I listened to that newest record you made I was like texting you like you did all this with a guitar yeah <laughs> it totally yeah. does not sound like a guitar right yeah well well I think I'm gonna send you back out to the studio and we'll do some more okay sound good. good yeah, yeah. alright we've got three more songs yeah. from Sundial Motos and uh, we'll be right back after this message with more Sundial Motos here on WMSE once again, the Bob and Jeannie live performance studio here at WMSE. Please welcome Sundial Mottos.
And that is music from Sundial Mottos. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Here is Teenage Fan Club with Everything Flows, uh, your song segment tonight on Local Live.
We're back at Local Live with Sundial Models in the studio, and uh, they're yucking it up for us. Um, you have shows coming up? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You had to think about it. <laughs> we have Are they in Milwaukee? Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, is it uh, the 27th? Arte Partodos, uh, April 27th at Puddler's Hall. Puddler's Hall. Yes. With Yazin from New York and uh, Soda Road, which is another band that I play in. And uh, River Rats. River Rats. That's the only show so far. Um, and then the one on May 11th at Cactus Club with uh, Lena Tolgren. Lena Tolgren. Carbon Bangle. Carbon Bangle. No. Yeah, they're oh, they're playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it was just. I thought it was just Brandon by himself. Nah, I think it's Carbon Bangle. Oh, okay. He switched it up on us. Oh, he switched it up. Okay, <laughs> with Carbon Bangle. Yes, those are the two shows we are playing. Well, thanks for coming down. Thank and you for if having. If people us. want to find out more information about the Sundial Mottos, where is there? Send them to the Bandcamp page. What, what's that uh, web address? Yeah, the Bandcamp page. You could probably just type in Sundial Mottos Band on Google. It'd probably take take you right there. I would guess. <laughs> or actual sundial mottos. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a fan club, on a sundial mottos fan club run by Joe Kirschling. True. Yeah, Joe Kirschling. Yeah, there, honestly, there's a... There's there, a sundial mottos fan club, yeah. Been together a year, nine songs, you got a fan club. Yeah. That's yeah. a high watermark. Yeah. yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm He's really serious. I mean, I'm not a, a member. a serious fan, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I want to thank Graham Hunt, uh, Lisa Rodriguez, Bra Brady Murphy, Mr. Charles Markowiak. You play a very sexy bass, my friend. <laughs> thank you. It sounds good, and I didn't give you enough bass attention. So <laughs> I appreciate I, it. I, I, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. It's really good music. And uh, maybe nine more songs for in the next year. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Graham, you, you've convinced me. Thanks a lot. Keep making great music, you guys. I really appreciate you coming down to Local Live tonight. All Thanks right? for having us. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Thanks, you guys. WMSC's Local Live. Uh, we'll be back and close it down after this. Well, it's time to wrap things up here at uh, WMSC Local Live. It's a minute before the hour of 7 o'clock. Midnight Radio is up next. And I want to remind everybody, just for the goodness of the cause, Local Live is... A produced weekly music series here at WMSC. It happens every Tuesday from the hours of 6 to 7. Local Live is hosted by Aaron Wolf and Cal Roach. Supported by Club Garibaldi's Brecker Soda Cedar Teeth Pizza and our friends at Moleskin Productions. Local Live is recorded and produced and engineered by Billy Sisterelli. He puts the sugar in the sound. And it's done in the Bob and Jeannie Friedman Live Room here at WMSC. For more information and the archive of any local live program, it can be found at WMSC.org. I'm Tom Crawford, sitting in for Aaron and Cal this week. It's time now for Midnight Radio here at WMSC 91.7. Good night, everyone.